simna yadcha tachas yerechi. Make a shvua, make a vow that you'll take a good wife for my son Yitzchak. With these words, Avram Avinu has appointed his trusted servant Eliezer with a mission with major ramifications for generations to come. Yitzchak's wife will be selected a new mother for Klal Yisrael. Avram Avinu clearly had great confidence in his servant Eliezer, as is evident from his position in the household. The Torah says, Hamoishel b'chol Shaloi. He was the CEO. He had access to bank accounts, credit cards, online passwords, car keys, everything. Well then, if Avram really trusted him with all his financial affairs, why was he so reserved when it came to picking a wife for his son Yitzchak? Making him make a shavuah before he goes out? Did Avram trust him or did he not? Says the Haile Geber Ma'im Chaim, of course, when it came to material matters, Avram trusted Eliezer implicably. But spiritual matters were completely different. Over here, Avram was not willing just to trust him. He had to make sure this was going to happen correctly. It was simply too important. The Be'er Ma'im Chaim points out that often our own value system is reversed. We're so easy when it comes to Ruchnius, but when it comes to Gashmius, we're much more vigilant. Rabbi Saul Salanta entered an inn. He wanted to stay there for a few nights. The innkeeper, noticing the Rav's very distinguished appearance, says, Rabbi, are you perhaps a shaykhet? I have an animal. I need it to be shechted. You'd save me so much time going into town, please. Now, Rabbi Saul was many, many things, but he wasn't a shaykhet. And he declined and said, I'm so sorry, I can't help you. A couple of days later, Rabbi Saul goes over to the innkeeper and says, perhaps, you can lend me one ruble. I'll pay you back tomorrow. And the innkeeper says, you? I don't know who you are. Why should I trust you? And Rabbi Saul turned to him and said, do you hear what you're saying? You trusted me without even knowing who I am to shecht an animal. But when it comes to one ruble, that you won't trust me. Often, points out the Ben Ma'im Chaim, we can be exactly the same. We spend hours and hours investigating on the latest product that we need to buy, the car we want to drive, or the vacation that we want to go on. But when it comes to opening up our mouth to make sure that what comes out is correct, or the hechsha on that which we're eating, or making sure that what we do on Shabbos is correct, we're perhaps a little bit too easy. Says the Ben Ma'im Chaim of Rom Avinu teaches us this Yisait, that if we're careful with our Gashmias, let's be double as careful with all our Ruchnias. Have an amazing Shabbos. To listen to more by Rabbi Avi Wiesenfeld, visit 